This is today's article. Having to do with Planet 9, astronomer explains the effect this mystery Planet 9 has on the entire solar system. Well, we're not surprised to hear that. First of all, the ancients knew there was a weird planet coming in every so often. We've had deluges, we've had pole shifts, we even have various astronomers now, geologists, cosmologists saying that there is a black star not far from the edge of our solar system. NASA has already two years ago confirmed that there is a brown dwarf star near the edge of our solar system. And also recently NASA says that the planets that they thought were closer to Earth was all wrong. That's another video I'm going to be making for you. Uh, they've got, for some reason, they've got their planets mixed up, which is the closest planet to Earth, for example. But that's for another upcoming video. This one has to do with Planet Nine, how they found it, where it is, how big it is, etc. Now, this astronomer says that the mystery Planet Nine, some people call it Planet 10, Planet X, Nibiru, Nemesis, Wormwood, various names for it. Now, the mysterious Planet Nine gravitational pull could have a bizarre effect on the entire solar system if proven to exist, an astronomer has spectacularly claimed. This is by Sebastian Kelly on Express UK. In Planet Nine, the theoretical large body on the fringes of our solar system past Pluto, the Kuiper Belt, and beyond the gaze of Earth's telescopes, even though Planet Nine is yet to be directly observed, evidence of its exist existence is mounting. There is something there that is pulling and perturbing the planets, creating changes to the planets in our solar system. Astronomer Michael Brown of the University of Southern California believes the mystery planet is 20 times farther away than Neptune, but is similar in size to the frozen planet. And the astronomer is also positive that scientists will soon hone in on Planet Nine's location, and when they do, the planet's gravitational effects on the rest of the system will be revealed. Speaking to Linda Moulton Howe on Coast to Coast AM radio, this expert said, quote, in the inner part of the solar system, inner being the parts we know of, Planet Nine has no effect whatsoever on the inner planets, and you can figure out why. It's actually seven times the mass of the Earth, and it is 500 times further away from the Sun than our Earth is. Jupiter, on the other hand, is 300 times the mass of Earth, and it's only five times further from the Sun than the Earth is. So Jupiter has a tremendous effect on the planets in their solar system, and nobody sits around and is worried Jupiter is suddenly going to come to destroy us. Planet Nine is really far away and quite a bit smaller than Jupiter. Its effect is really minimal. And he goes on to add, the one effect that it does have is that over four billion years, it's capable of slowly tilting the orbits of the planets. But even that is a very, very minor effect. Is tilting the orbits of the planet. We even know that the sun has tilted. Now, what made the sun tilt? That's another question. But going back to this, the astronomer then said, there is a possibility the mystery planet will be confirmed as early as now. Doctor, that is, you know, any, any day, any week now. Dr. Brown and fellow researcher Konstantin Batigin originally presented their Planet 9 hypothesis in a nine-page paper titled Observational Constraints on the Orbit and Location of Planet Nine on the Outer Solar System. And these two astronomers have since focused on the crux of their research on locating this mysterious elusive planet. U.S. Space Agency, NASA, caught on to the research in 2017 saying, quote, it is now harder to imagine our solar system without a planet nine than win one, with, than win with one. Dr. Brown said, I'm always very optimistic. Constantine Batigan said, uh, he said, my partner in all this is much more pessimistic. And so you should take my optimistic op optimism with a grain of salt and then take his pessimism with a grain of salt. He thinks it will take us another 10 years. I think it will take one year, he said. Well, we'll see. 
We'll see how long. Uh, the thing is, will they be when they find it? Will they be given the authority and the okay to tell the world about it? Now we're going on to this. So maybe that means still another three years. He says, but I'm still very optimistic. Earlier in the month, Professor Badigan said Planet Nine is a super Earth-like planet between five and ten times the side, size of our planet. The astrophysicist at the California Institute of Cal, uh, Technology, Caltech, said at five Earth masses, Planet Nine is likely to be very reminiscent of a typical extrasolar super Earth. Astronomers believe Planet Nine, they call it Planet Nine, so they, do, they will not call it Planet X, or they will not call it Nibiru or Nemesis. So they gave it their own, their own name, they call it Planet Nine. But still, it reminds us of Planet X, doesn't it? <laughs> of course. So astronomers believe Planet Nine is the reason why objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region, a region of asteroids past Pluto, tend to group together. NASA explains, Astronomers studying the Kuiper Belt have noticed some of the dwarf planets and other small icy objects tend to follow orbits that cluster together. And by analyzing these orbits, the Caltech team, Badigan and Brown, predicted the possibility that a large, previously undiscovered planet may be hiding far behind Pluto, and they estimate the gravity of this potential planet might explain the unusual orbits of those Kuiper Belt objects. Astronomers, including Batigan and Brown, will begin using the world's most powerful telescopes to search for the object in its predicted orbit. Any object that far away from the sun will be very faint and hard to detect, but astronomers calculated that it should be possible to see it using existing uh, telescopes. And now, Planet Nine, the breakthrough that is that the new evidence shows that Planet Nine, as we said, is bigger than Earth. Uh, this came out, uh, this article was a few days before the, the last article I read for you. Again, it's by Sebastian Kelly on Express UK. And we said, he says, Planet Nine's theorized presence at the far edge of our solar system is looking increasingly likely, as this new evidence suggests Planet Nine could be a super Earth 10 times bigger than our planet. It's hypothetically a world beyond the reach of Earth's telescopes believed to be the eighth planet of our system, and the mystery world was first proposed by astronomers Konstantin Batigan and Mike Brown, 2016. But definite evidence, of course, we said, is yet to be found. But a new study published in the journal Physics Reports may have just unlocked a new piece of the puzzle. The new study led by Professor Batigan has proposed that Planet Nine is a super-Earth of sorts. It's a planet between five and ten times the size of our planet. Batigan, who is an astrophysicist at Caltech, said at five Earth masses, Planet Nine is likely to be very reminiscent of a typical extrasolar super-Earth. And super-Earths are celestial bodies, considerably bigger, heavier than our Earth, but not on the same magnitude or Jupiter or Saturn. Planet Nine is a popular theory we know among astronomers because its existence would explain certain odd behaviors in the orbits of the objects beyond Neptune. And the astronomers note that bodies in the Kuiper Belt, the field of icy rocks barreling around the sun, tend to group together, they cluster together, as if they're attracted by something clustering them together. In a different study published in the Astronomical Journal in January 2019, Professors Brown and Batigan argued there are two plausible explanations for this behavior. Observational bias influencing astronomers' observations or the presence of a large and undetected planet. So the large planet, undetected planet, is having some kind of a gravitational pull on these things that they clustered together. If confirmed, Planet Nine would become the eighth planet in our system, bar Pluto to be discovered in 170 years. Professor Batigan said he's hopeful scientists will discover the mystery planet within the next 10 years. And he said, although finding Planet Nine astronomically is a great challenge, I'm very optimistic that we will image it within the next decade. In a recent study, Batigan and co-authors prosed that Planet Nine orbits the Sun 
from a distance between 400 and 800 astronomical units, AUs. One AU is a distance from uh, the Earth to the Sun. Now, uh, just one astronomical unit, the distance from the Earth to the Sun measures about 93 million miles, that's about 150 million kilometers. And this would place Planet 9 between 37 billion miles and 47 billion miles from the Sun. In their study, the authors wrote, this paper reviews the observational motivation, dynamical constraints, and prospects for detection of this proposed object known as Planet 9. As we said, they call it Planet 9, so they will not call it Planet X or Nibiru or Nemesis or Wormwood or anything else. Now, you, uh, the uh, NASA, the U.S. Space Agency, also shows interest in Planet 9 theory, sometimes referring to it in the past as Planet X. Shh, Planet X. Nibiru. NASA said, if true, it may take Planet 9 or Planet X anywhere between 10,000 and 20,000 years to orbit the Sun. That sounds familiar. The planet will also be situated about 20 times farther from the Sun than the orbit of Neptune. And NASA said, the announcement does not mean there is a new planet in our solar system. The existence of this distant world is only theoretically theoretical at this point and no direct observation of the object nicknamed Planet 9 or Planet X have been made. Nanu nanu. Nanu nanu. <laughs> nanu nanu. All right, let's go now. And then uh, de detecting it. How do scientists uncover Planet X? Nibiru proof? Uncovering Planet X? or Planet Nine, or Nemesis, or Wormwood. After finding heat, they found heat 50 billion miles away. And that's just about into the parameters that they said Planet Nine would be. This is again by Callum Hoare on Express UK. And this was written about a month before the uh, past article. So Nibiru may have been uncovered more than 50 billion miles away before being covered up by NASA. According to outrageous claims made in a conspiracy theory, the Nibiru cataclysm is said to be a future disastrous encounter between the Earth and a large unknown planet, which may, many say will take place in the early 21st century. Believers in the doomsday event usually refer to the object involved as Planet X or Nibiru. with countless predictions over a collision with Earth surfacing over the years. But it was an event in 1984 that sparked this outrageous conspiracy, according to a new documentary about this. 2007 Amazon Prime series Nibiru, Return of the Gods, detailed how an article in the New York Times headlined Planet X provoked a frenzy. The piece which made front page news revealed how U.S. astronomers had discovered what they believed to be another planet after detecting heat, heat in a distant source uh, solar system, heat. The extract read, in observations with an infrared telescope, they found a huge gaseous object orbiting a dim and distant star in the constellation of Phiocus. They believed the object was nine-tenths the size of Jupiter with a surface temperature of a whopping 1,000 degrees Celsius. Some other astronomers, however, said the object might be too hot and massive to be called a planet in the usual sense. And eight years later, NASA confirmed they had discovered a new celestial body in space, yet revealed it was not a planet. Further analysis detailed it was an interstellar Cyrus, a flaming hot structure giving off infrared light. But that did not stop the conspiracies. Dr. Robert Harrigan, having to do with this, 1991, Dr. Robert Harrigan, who passed away in 1993, a few years later, was the chief astronomer for the Naval Observatory while well, he detected an approach of a very strange object to our solar system. And that first sparked rumors of a destructive planet. Dr. Harrington 
calculated that Planet X, or Planet 9, or Nibiru, or Nemesis, or Wormwood, shh, would be roughly three times the distance of Neptune from the Sun, and its orbit would be highly eccentric, strongly pulled in by Earth's gravitational pull. Unfortunately, Dr. Harrington died two years later after this discovery, and that prompted conspiracies that uh, perhaps he had exposed some kind of a cover-up and that he should not have uh, disclosed this, etc. So I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.